Yeah. Right, then. Hey, then. The laser removal that Grant's about to have is becoming more popular as people regret their hasty tattoos. It can cost thousands, and because Grant's tat is on his eyelid, it's potentially dangerous too. There are risks involved in firing a laser towards the eye, and Grant must have a protective eye shield inserted throughout his treatment. Without this, the laser could burn through the thin skin on the eyelid and cause blindness. So are you ready, Grant? Yeah. One, two, and three. The laser works by producing pulses of heat which shatter the ink into tiny particles which are then absorbed into the bloodstream. Well done, Grant. That's all treatment done for today, yes. That's all. Okay. How does it? How does it? Yeah. That's a wee bit swollen, but I think it went really well. First session over, and it looks like the two-year hangover of Grant's drunken tattoo is finally starting to lift. But the treatment isn't always completely successful, and it could be nearly a year before Grant knows whether he can say goodbye to the Japs eye forever. I'm just... So, I would say, I mean, you've got some colour in here, and unfortunately you've got some red. Red is the most stubborn colour to remove. Your hands, they won't look like mine. They will, you know, we're removing the tattoos, but there's a chance there's going to be a remnants of the ink left. First up, Dom's dodgy knuckles. Right, pinky first, yeah? Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I think it's worth that. Dr. Ben is treating Dom with the very latest in laser technology. It breaks down the ink into even tinier particles than standard lasers. So it means fewer sessions, faster removal, and usually less scarring. But even the new laser can't guarantee perfect results. It's not picked up the red that well. Don't panic. Well, let me just go over that red. That hand is done. Time now for the neck, where Dom's X marks the spot. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's like an electric shock. That's done. Okay. Will it will Stefan go completely? Lettering like that is etched quite deeply in the skin. So it's gonna be a bit more stubborn, take a bit more removing. Even with this latest technology. It's likely that Dom's tats will need to be zapped three more very painful times. And with the cost for treatment averaging around three grand per tattoo, it's easy to see why so many people regret their inky acts of impulse. How was that? Painful. <laughs> Can you tolerate it? Yeah. The laser bursts are coming every trillionth of a second, and it's all quite a shock for Melissa. Oh, that's really painful. Sensitive, though, is it? Yeah. Take glass off for a bit. Wait, just have a breather. Oh, my God. If it you feels look... like someone's dragging, like, a hot iron down my skin. Oh, my God. You're doing brilliantly. Good girl. I think she dealt with the pain well, but it was, it was sensitive. There's not a lot of meat on her either, so if you're a little bit more fleshy, you, you've got a bit... Bit more give. Ready, yeah. go? Yeah. Go for it. Oh my god. Oh, that inside. I will. Oh, I will. Breathe for a minute. I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> I know, that's, that's right, you're allowed to hold your breath. Okay? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bravest thing I've ever done. <laughs> After 15 minutes of agony, Melissa's first session is over. Done. You can take your glasses off now. Sit up. And already her massive tattoo is starting to fade. 
So you'll notice some places here the pigment's already entirely dropped out. And when this redness settles down, you'll probably notice that in patches it will have gone entirely. Put some aloe vera on, keep yourself comfortable. It's gonna feel warm. It's hot, it's like excruciating sunburn. Really? Look, that's how I can explain ice packs. it, yeah. Ice packs. I wanna like put ice on me. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Right now it feels like burning, um, like a sharp piece of hot glass on my skin. Part of my rose has completely disappeared, so I'm really happy about that. I didn't think that I'd be able to see anything like this result after one treatment. It may be uncomfortable, but Melissa has taken her first step in getting it removed. Earlier, I met Grant, who's desperate to lose a Jap's eye tattoo on his eyelid. Excited. Excited that it's going to go. Four months later, I've arranged to see him again. Now he's had two laser sessions. So how is the eyelid? It's not bad. It's um, coming away. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's sort of scabbed over, hasn't it? Yeah. The J and the A look like they're kind of, sort yeah. of breaking yeah. up a bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's, you can hardly see what it says now. Did it hurt having the laser treatment? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> so what about when it's all finally faded into just a scar or whatever the finished result is? Will you tell new people you meet about your old chap side? <laughs> I don't think I will. No? <laughs> I don't think so. It'll be your uh, secret, I'll try, and have, I'll try and keep that as low as possible. Dominic's also had another treatment session, getting his neck and knuckles zapped again. Now that Stefan's head is fading, I think Darren's a bit more keen to sit outside or kiss my neck. I'm most happy to see the Stefan tattoo go, but also his knuckles as well, because they're a bit thug-like. Dominic is definitely more handsome now. The ones on my fingers, you can see parts have completely disappeared now, and it's starting to fade in other places. After two or three more sessions, I've been told I should be ink-free. How does that feel? Oh. Fortunately, Stuart's tats are done with black ink, which is the easiest colour to fade. But the process is still painful and complete removal may not be possible. It's a little bit more sensitive on the finger, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Stuart could need up to ten sessions over the next year and a half. If, I, if I'd known that I would have to go through this, uh, I don't think I would have done it in the first place, to be honest. But even after a couple of months, and with just one more treatment under his belt, his tats and his alter ego are starting to disappear. Wow. It's like a completely different man to who I thought I was meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's dumped the pirate look, and the tattoos are fading fast. People don't look at you the same. That's that's the big thing. Yeah, Mass really notices yeah. that. Yeah. It's different walking through a crowd and then all of a sudden nobody's stopping sort of stopping to look and stare. It's strange. So is it nice to fit in or do you miss the attention? Um, it's actually quite nice to be honest. I spend so much time looking at how I'm looking that I just forgot, I think, who I was. As much as I enjoyed my time with Geordie Depp, it's great Stuart feels like his old self again. She had her third dose of laser treatment a week ago and is off to show her grandfather, Nicholas, the results. So tell me, how are we getting on with this tattoo? How is it doing? There is dramatic improvement yeah. so far. It has faded quite a lot now. It was a right mess, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So let's have a look then. Let's see okay. what it's like. Oh, crikey. Well, it de definitely looks better. There's no doubt about that. My friends have said, you know, um, you look more feminine now that the tattoo's mm. nearly gone. You yeah. look more girly, as you my friends would so say. don't look so butch. I've never looked butch. You, well, tattoos make women look butch. Mm. I'm not sure I agree. Last time I saw Melissa, it was before treatment. I want to know how things have changed for her since she's had it done. So would you say you're getting less negative attention now? I do feel like now, if I'm wearing something low-cut, 
it's not drawing attention to my chest anymore. Yeah. People will kind of talk to me and like take me more seriously. They definitely see me in a different light now. And you know, getting the tattoo removed is kind of like showing them, you know, this is the person I am now. I've grown up a lot, I've matured over the years. I'm not the same person I was when I was 18. Well, I'm happy for you. It's really good, the point you've reached. I'm so pleased the future is looking positive for Melissa and our other regretters. I'm really happy that getting the tattoos removed. I'm pleased to see results starting. I'm looking forward to the end result. Having braved painful treatment and banished past mistakes, they can now look forward to an ink-free future. Oh, my gosh, I'm genuinely really amazed. Wow.